Hey, it's Todd, Red River Tactical and Outdoors. Today we're going to be looking at a light from Olight. This is a headlamp from Olight. This is the box that comes in. Uh, it comes in that box. It comes with the user manual. And of course it comes with the light and an adjustable nice head strap. Uh, this light, I'll give you the features on it real quick, give you the rundown on it, then I'll talk a little bit about it. The HO5 Active is a compact and lightweight LED headlamp powered by two AAA batteries. You can use lithium ion batteries, which it comes with. That'll give you a longer run time and a brighter lumen rating. It uses a Cree XM L2 LED featuring a high light transmission rate TIR optic lens. It can deliver an output of 10 to 150 lumens to fulfill the demand of close range illumination. The HO5 Active has two red indicator LEDs for low light illumination. The two indicators can either blink or be set for steady on in the dark. Handy and convenient. It is compact, hands-free illumination tool for outdoor activities during the night. Okay, uh, I think I got everything there. It is available in four colors, green, blue, orange, and purple. As you can see, this one is orange. Uh, the operation of it has this little blue button on the top of it and what you'll do that top hit that top button one time and it goes to high mode if you hit it again it'll go to medium if you hit it again it goes to low if you double click on that button it'll turn the red indicator lights on what I like about that is you hit it again and those indicator lights flash and what I really like about that right there is I'm a farms instructor and we're going to be using these in uh, low light farms classes and we can run those flashing red indicators so everybody knows where all the shooters are at all times. And then when we go to the table to reload magazines we can go probably to the low mode and you have that on your head and you can turn it where it's facing right down and you can see the reload. So it's a handy little light again. As you can see from the side, this has adjustable settings of 10, 25, 35, and 50 degree angles. So it's four settings. And then if you uh, have to change the batteries, what, what it does is this top pops open and comes up, come, folds down, and you can see the battery compartment there. Just put the two batteries in. Now when you buy this light, it comes with these batteries in in a plastic uh, piece that you have to pull out to get it to operate. So that's how you change the batteries. Uh, again, I think this light is a great little light. It's very lightweight, very comfortable when it's on your head. Uh, I will mention they have a HO5S active and what that HO5S does is you can see right here these little cutouts. The HO5S has a motion sensor and you can wave your hand in front of it and it'll cut on, wave it back, it'll cut off. So you can use a motion sensor on that one. The HO5 does not have that. Uh, for 10 more dollars, it's also uh, 50 more lumens, 200 lumens, or this one is 150. So for 10 more dollars, I think it would be well worth paying that. And if you don't want to operate it in the light sensor mode, you can operate it just like this one. Again, uh, each, each click of the button takes it to a different mode. Double tap to get the red lights. Later in this video, we're going to go out and I show you some beam shots uh, in the dark of how far this will shine. And, but most of the time, I'd be using it on a low setting. Uh, for I definitely will be keeping this in my truck also if you ever need a flashlight. Uh, it's great to have a headlamp that way you got both hands free to do to work on your vehicle work on whatever you need to work on and Also, it, you just got light with uh, both hands free So this is a good light from Olight. Olight makes great products. This is my third light from Olight I have the Valkyrie weapon light and I have the S1 baton Both great lights. I've had those over a year. So I know this will be a good product so uh, check out Olight and we're going to do some beam shots here and then uh, we'll be back to wrap this video up.
Olight HO5 active at night. We're out here on the range. It's pretty dark. I got the camera and I'm standing at 10 yards and I'm going to turn this light on and go through the modes and show you what you're going to be seeing at 10 yards. Uh, so that's the high setting with the Olight HO5 active at 10 yards. We're looking at steel targets there. That's the high setting. The medium setting. And then of course the low setting. But the low setting is mainly just seeing for uh, if you're working on something that you're down at your hands. Again we'll go up to off. We'll go to high. That's the high setting. The medium setting. And a low setting. That's the old light HO5 active. Now to do a little bit of comparison, I have a 250 uh, lumen light handheld that I have. And this is going to be 250 lumens uh, at 10 yards, same distance. And, but it's shining a uh, narrow beam where the old light is shining a wide beam. So that's just a little comparison. It's about a hundred more lumens than what the Olight is. And again, we'll look at the Olight one more time. The head headlamp, the HO5, high, medium, and low. And I apologize if the video is not real good because it's real muggy and humid out here and my lens keeps fogging up. So uh, you can't really tell 100%, but I'm just trying to give you an idea. And uh, But this is Todd, Red River Tactical and Outdoors. Uh, hope you found this video informative. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, again, Olight HO5 Active. Check Olight out. They have some good products. Give them a try. And this is Todd reminding you to be safe and always be ready.